All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of our series on a new dawn. So, uh, last episode, we managed to finish off the Kurgits, or at least, I mean, wipe out all their castles. There's, I've seen a few of them still running around, but none with more than like 100, 150. So, I'm not worried about them retaking any of the castles. I think, for all intents and purposes, the Kurgits are defeated. So, that leaves us with one enemy remaining, and it's the big one. It is the Vagers. Um, they own, actually, about the same amount of towns that we do. So what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. They have also six. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty evenly matched right now. Um, for those of you that have been paying attention to the story so far, you'll remember that uh, the Vagers were the ones that took us out last season and were the ones that, story-wise, uh, tried to execute Mason and tortured him for days and months. Um, so he's got a lot, a of, lot of pent up rage, and he's been looking forward to this ass kicking that we are about to deliver. So, uh, in between episodes, I took out a couple of their castles, Dramag, Dramag and Tilbult Castle. Um, and I guess the whole point of that is we've distracted them. I saw they have their big campaign going on with all their lords over here trying to. I would have thought that they would be trying to siege one of the castles, but maybe they were just trying to come over and stop us, which they did not get there in time. So now that we have all their lords over there, we are going to do a sneak attack around here, uh, kind of come in from the back through the mountains, take out Sungetch and Nelag, and uh, if we can today... Also, what is this? Oh. Is that, an, is that a native? Or is that a new castle? I've, I feel like I've never heard of this one before. Harzel Slack. Huh. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess we can take that too. Um, but the main goal for today is we want to get Kadan off of them and uh, finally become, you know, officially at least, the biggest faction and most powerful faction in Cal Radio. So, um, don't, don't be alarmed by my party size. Uh, we've not gotten uh, any good units. We've basically just, I, I found a whole bunch of acolytes in uh, one of the castles. So we're taking them to upgrade into Templars. Upgrade you guys into Paladins. Where are the Templars at? Oh no, Crusaders. That's right, that's right. I up upgrade those guys into Templars. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, a bunch of those guys. I mean, you know, they're decent. They're basically just fodder, but uh, they're not super expensive, so I don't mind using them. All right, so let's see what we got going on here before we siege it. 325. So they have a decent amount of troops in all their garrisons, but it's not, not that many. Yeah, it's been about 300 to 400 in each one of them. And uh, when we have 52 champions. 14 Masters of the Way and 7 Spirit Champions. Oh, might I add 12 Shadow Hunters? It's, um, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's really not that, oh, not that bad unless it's a Siege Tower. At least, oh my god, Iron Manor has such high engineering. A 9? That's fantastic. It's only going to take us 36. How much? Because it's normally 80, right? I think it's normally 80. If you have zero skill in it. So yeah. Over half the time gone. That's perfect. Okay. That's the other thing. Now that we have an army this large, we've got a bunch of guys defecting towards us. I should head back to Cherie's at some point and get them in. Vagers offer us peace. That's cute. Mason does not know peace. Unless you're the Rodox. In that case, he very much knows peace. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to pretend that one, that one didn't happen. All right, so let's see here. Uh... Choose. There we go. So let's see what we're coming in with. 17 champions, 4 masters of the way. No spare champions, no need for them. We can just go champions and masters of the way. Let's get a few more masters of the way, I think. Let's give us some artillery. There we go. Alright, so let's head in. So these guys, you know, they're, they, they are an archer faction, to a certain extent. They've got some of the best archers in the game. Um, if not, probably the best. Now I'm thinking about it. Who has better? Swadia? No. I think Vagers have the best archers in the game, but uh, none of their truly elite archers, I think, have been stationed in any of the castles that I've taken so far. Those guys are only present in, like, Lord's armies. Um, so it, it really hasn't been that bad, and even their, their best archers, honestly, are not going to stand up against the Masters of the Way. I, I'm really... <laughs> I was thinking about this as I was grinding this earlier. I'm really considering doing, like, a video on, like, the, you know, the best 
you know, infantry units in all of uh, Mountain Blade, like across all the mods, and the best, you know, archers, the best cavalry, cav archers, all of that stuff, and doing the best units. And same thing, like, doing, like, videos like that with, like, the best weapon, the best two-handed weapon across all of the mods, the best ranged weapon. Um, although we already know what that would be. A fucking flame rifle from Star Wars Conquest, GG. But I think that could be a lot of fun. Like comparing stuff from like Prophecy of Pendor to Perizno to A New Dawn to Fantasy Cal Radio. You know, all the major ones. I think that could be a lot of fun. I'm really considering doing that now. Like the more I'm thinking about it, I can't see that being a bad idea. Oh my god, okay. Just beast mode hulking this siege tower into position. I love it. I'm not gonna lie. We've been, uh, we've been doping our boys up a little bit, okay? <laughs> they would uh, test positive for just about everything in the book right now. Come on, get in here. I didn't, you know, until now, I didn't, I didn't know that maybe it's like the, a unit strength actually determines how fast it pushes the siege tower. I mean, that would completely make sense, but if they truly had that added in, that'd be awesome. That'd be really cool, actually, to uh, figure that out. That's another kind of, like, side video that I've thought about doing is, like, something called, like, Mountain Myth Busters or something like that, and just testing out different, uh... I mean, not really myths, but different theories and whatnot in Mountain Blade, like... The main one that I really want to figure out is, I feel like... So if I'm standing still, and I hit someone just like this, do I do more damage if I'm doing this? Like, if I'm really moving along with it, if that makes any sense. It feels like I do, even though I don't think... I don't think you actually do. So that'd be something I'd be interested in testing out. There's a whole bunch of different things I'd like to, but... I don't know. I mean, let me know in the comments. Would you guys be interested in seeing just little one-off videos like that? You could post them onto, like, the subreddit. I'm sure those guys would love to see it. Alright, good out here, boy. Getting a little bit laggy. How many... Just because we have so many units and, uh... Close proximity. Let's, uh, let's thin their numbers out a little bit, why don't we? Yeah, this crossbow would definitely make the cut. It's to, uh, you know, top 10 best ranged weapons in the, across all mods. Although, I don't, it'd be tough, like, because, obviously, I feel like we'd have to make a category for the best bow slash crossbow in all mods, and then another category for just the best ranged ones, because, I mean, you got some crazy shit if you think about it. Um... Like, Blood and Steel, you have, like, the, the double barrel Dragon Pistol, which is, like, a, a crazy fast reloading shotgun. Um, there, there's some insane stuff. And then, like, basically all the Star Wars guns would probably beat this. So, yeah, I definitely have to come up with some, some better categories. But uh, I think it could be done. I think that could be a pretty, pretty cool video. also be interested, I mean, I probably wouldn't make a video out of this, but uh, just to think about, like, which Mountain Blade character that we've played as across all of our series has the, uh, or is the best, is the strongest. Because, you know, I, it used to be, you know, oh, no competition, you know, whatever my latest prophecy of Pendor was, so for us, it's Ray Carter. And then, like, no competition, he'd wipe everybody out, but, man, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Mason Harrow, man, and all the series that he's been in, Hmm? <laughs> Especially Star Wars Conquest Amazing Hero. Ooh, that's a scary man with that flame rifle. That's a scary man. That AoE will destroy you if he can get close. Because basically the only way you stop him is you have to keep him from like, even like medium range. That flame rifle will do work. Um, but on that note, I mean, Mason Hero in Star Wars Conquest had a very shitty speeder that could be one shot by just any respectable weapon. So, well, you never know. You never know. And then we've got, you know, we've got Torvik who had max stats everything. Do you remember that? That Prophecy of, or that, not Prophecy of Pender, that Prisno series, Torvik Underhelm. Oh my god, that guy ended the series with literally, I think, max everything. Like 66 strength, or 63, I think. 63 strength, 63 agility, 63 intelligence, charisma, all that stuff. He was stacked, boy. They had those dragon riders. Oh, dragon riders were de are definitely making the list somewhere in the cavalry. They got to at least be an honorable mention, if not a top five overall pick. Could do it like that. Could pretend like it's the Mountain Blade all-time best units draft or something like that. You know, who do you who do you want to make? Make up your army with. Alright. 
Imagine if then you could actually do like a battle. Could actually have a draft where like everyone's taking different units and whatnot, and have, then have everyone battle with those units and see who who comes out on top. That would be fucking sick. That'd be very cool, actually. Uh, probably be very difficult to do. I don't know how you do it. You'd have to combine a whole bunch of different mods. But oh, that would be insane. All right, let's see what we got here. Champion Chestnut. Remember back when I used to think Champion was uh <laughs> like that didn't exist. That modifier didn't exist. Now we see it all the time. All right. Uh, let's actually defer appointment for right now, just because we have a bunch of lords waiting for us back at Cherise, and I want to give some out to them, and everyone has at least two castles except this guy and this guy. We'll give it to this guy. Actually, we still have an extra town. We still have, what is it, Darum? We still have Darum to hand out. I, I don't think we really need Darum, do we? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, wait. I just remembered. What about all those upgrades that we could do at Cherise that would, like, increase the amount of damage and, like, hit points of our units? Do you guys remember that? Hold up. Okay. This is strictly just to check. I just want to see if I'm remembering correctly. We're not going to do anything because, obviously, we cheated by teleporting over here. But I just want to see. <laughs> Overhauling the infrastructures in Cherise requires the allocation of additional land and resources. Okay, so a foundry produces high-quality weapons using the latest advances in ferrous metallurgy, increasing close-quarter damage done by 1%. All right, forget it. I can do that. Wow, barracks. Increasing the health of common soldiers by 1%? Hmm. I don't know if that would even include our got our uh, champions. Hmm. Reload speed and accuracy by one percent. That's interesting. That's actually very interesting. I completely forgot about that, to be honest. All right. I just wanted to check that out. So we were right here. Boom. All right. Let's move on to the next castle. Let's take both of the passes, the the valleys, guarding this for right now. Oh, man, we've got so much money sitting in Revenue. I want it. I want it bad. Got a decent amount. 15k sitting in uh, Sargoth, too. Yeah, we're going to have to get ourselves some of that. Uh, also, by the way, guys, uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> started feeling this at work today, but I've got that... Uh, not not Soreness isn't the right word for it, but I've got that like feeling in the back of my throat. Um that uh, I normally associate whenever I'm about to get strep throat. Um, so I'm worried I'm about to get sick. Like the early, early stages of strep throat. That's what this feels like. Uh, I'm hoping it's not true. Um, Kurgit Connie, give me some money. <laughs> GG, fucker. GG. <laughs> they don't like me. But you don't gotta like me. I'll take that free 10k. You guys are nobodies now anyway. All right, uh, yeah, go ahead and lead an assault. Take another one of these. It is kind of fun. Like, the end of the series, sometimes it gets boring. But uh, when you're just steamrolling people, man, it can be fun for a little while. It's not something I can do for hours on end. But, uh, you know, considering I haven't uploaded in a couple days, it's always fun to come back and just kick some ass. All right, let me, let me see. I have Thursday off from work. Although, oh, Thursday's the brand new season of Fortnite, so I'm probably going to do that. I haven't played Fortnite in about a week and a half, just because as soon as I got to level 80, which unlocks the final thing for this season, the uh, the glowing lights and different colors for your Omega skins, um, I was kind of done with it, because I had to do a lot of grinding just to get that. So I haven't played in about a week and a half, but I'm looking forward to the new season. Try to grind and get that battle pass. We'll see what we're doing. Maybe you know, I'll have to see if uh, Ace can play. Uh, Ace, if you're watching this, my man, yeah, I hope you're on Thursday. So I plan on playing for you know a decent while. You know, maybe like I don't know about four hours in, but you know, at least two or three hours in. And I wouldn't mind playing with you. I might try hard my first couple games, just because they uh, separate your stats by season on uh, the different stat tracking websites. So yeah, I try to try hard a little bit. See what I can do on the leaderboard. Probably, uh, probably nothing much on the leaderboard, but you know, 
do a little something. Oh, wait, shit. I forgot I don't have a shield. <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to pull out my shield. Well, I do have a shield. I just don't have a weapon that I can use with the shield. And your boy doesn't like being a sitting duck. If I'm taking hits, I want to at least be dealing some back. Okay, I don't want to just be sitting there doing nothing. Although I'm sure our troops are doing fine. I just realized I forgot to uh, have the Masters of the Waste and back. Mm. Normally I have the Masters of the Waste and back so they can just fire from a distance, and mainly because they just clog everything up. I'm gonna tell them to. Uh... Yeah, just hold your fire. For the time being, that way that, you know, cause they're. If you don't tell them to hold their fire, they're just gonna, like, they'll take a step, and then pause, shoot an arrow, then they'll take another step, pause, shoot an arrow, and it'll take forever, and they just hold up everybody else. So, yeah, see, look at the kill feed. I feel like it's already going by a lot quicker now. Rip. Oh, this guy's actually a little tanky. Come off, bro. There we go. Thank you. Alright. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good so far. I mean, have we lost? Well, no, we've definitely lost some of our, our shitty units. We're gonna I might have to purge our army again, to be honest. I'm gonna have to Well we'll have to see what our weekly wages are looking like. We're still in the green. Or like, you know, just minorly in the red. Then we're probably fine. I don't have to worry about it. But uh we're back to losing like 10, 20k a week then. We're gonna have to uh lose some of the some of the extra boys. I mean, it helps. Don't get me wrong. It helps having 250 just for, like, these sieges and whatnot, the tactics. Um, like, we end up having more troops, especially once we're looking at actually taking some towns that are going to outnumber us massively. They're definitely going to come in handy. All right, let's go ahead and tell these boys that they can fire again. I think they're close enough, and I want to get these archers over here. Thank you, Sentinel. Why are these guys so tanky? They're only worth 120 experience. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit at all. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, the rest of these guys are divorced, which I don't know if they're the top or like the second from the top, but they're worth 500 experience, so they're not bad. No, you know, actually, I just got reminded of. So we might be playing some more sword conquest here in the near future. When I say might, strong possibility. <laughs> Very, very high likelihood that we're going to be playing some more Sword Conquest here soon. Um, starting up another series on that. I just remembered how each one of the factions in that game also had their own OP units. Except, you know, they weren't worth like 500, 700, 800. They were worth like over 1,000. The top tier ones. I forgot about those guys. I wonder just how good they are. I'm looking forward to getting back into that mod. Now, I remember it being frustrating, especially starting out. But that once you get started, it's pretty fun. Although, that it can also be pretty fucking difficult to start your own faction with that. Unless you're using the cattle herd glitch like uh, I was <laughs> that season. Which, honestly, is, is probably a decent part of the reason why we got bored of it. Um, yeah. It, it, yeah. Just because we were, we were so slow moving around with that thing. And, you know, we basically constantly had to be sieging, otherwise, you know, enemies would catch up because we we're so slow and they just take our castles back. Yeah, that wasn't, that's probably why. I mean, it was, it was the reason we were able to steamroll everybody for as long as we did in that series, but uh, it also was probably the downfall of that series as well. I'm not saying I'm going to do a full, you know, conquer all of, <laughs> all of uh, the map because War Sword Conquest map is one of the biggest, but uh, I can see us doing doing some serious work on that, is what I'm trying to say. You know. We might play as a human this time. Hmm. So I think Prisno we're going to play as an elf. We did a dwarf last time, so I think we'll play as an elf this time in Prisno, and then for War Sword, we can either play as like a human or like a... a drow? Um, no, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think we're probably going to play as a human in like the Empire and whatnot, fight against the monster hordes. I think that could be fun. All right, GGs? Who'd we lose there? No one could.
one champion got knocked out. Oh, I guess we did lose a spirit champion, but, you know, not that big of a deal. 80 kills for us. Your boy's putting in work. Cool, cool. All good there. Oh, we leveled up. Uh, another champion chestnut. Except this one's a champion champion chestnut courser. Gotcha. Cool. Oh, and a champion brown round seat. Wow. Okay. Damn, we got a lot of loot for that one. All right. Pick that, pick that up, Artimenter. Thank you very much. Um, Newham. There you go. Oh, what a guy. He actually has high relationship with us, even though he has he had like the fewest uh, towns out of everybody. Good for him. Okay, so that's done. Uh, tell you what, let's go straight for Gadon now. And then go ahead and end the episode off there. And then in between episodes, that's where I can kind of do my thing, taking all the little castles. Um, because I mean, you guys saw those last two. The little castles, they're just warm up for us. They're not that big of a deal, not action packed. It's going to be these ones. It's going to be, be these big town sieges. Uh, that's where we're going to see if we have what it takes. Yeah, 756. Uh, they do have a Devore in it. What's their, what's their best archer? Is it, it's not a Sentinel. Imperial Sentinel. Okay, so the Devores are their, their second from the highest. They're tier sevens? Yes, tier sevens. Okay. I'm not. I don't see any of them. I see Imperial Guards, but not Imperial Sentinels. Cool. Also, my throat is starting to get very raw. So, yeah, we, <laughs> we need to wrap this on up. Um, was that a big one? Oh, yeah, whatever happened to all the, uh, like, minor faction armies that would spawn in? Like, the Syndicate and whatnot. Did we even see some of those this uh, this playthrough? I thought I remember those being a lot more common. Maybe we just haven't been looking around as much. We've been too busy fighting. It's definitely possible. All right, get in there, boys. What do we got? Oh, we got plenty. We got enough. We got enough. Oh, Blade Master. Nope. Sit down. <laughs> Goodbye. I remember them. They're going to stun chain you to death if you let them. What are you doing? Boy, fuck out of here. Ouch. Jukes. Got him. <laughs> All right, someone else is shooting me now. Who the fuck fucks these guys? Ow, fuck. Actually, do a little bit of damage. I don't know why I pulled out my two-handed weapon like I was going to Jedi, like, parry that shit. Come up. Please hit one. Please. Please. Thank you. Oh, hit the guy in the back. Not even one that was shooting at me. Please. It is actually fairly accurate while moving, man. There we go. We hit one. Oh, double tapped him. Oh, and him. Fuck him up, champion. There you go. Good shit. Spirit Walker. Yeah, I knew that guy was pretty OP. Yeah, he had fiery arrows. Come on. What more do I need to say? Alright, good little battle there. Not too bad. We lost Artemenor. Surprise, surprise. Alright. Let's go win, baby. Actually, hold up. Why is Artemenor always in these battles? Okay. You need to go all the way to the bottom, man. <laughs> you should not be fighting with us as often as you are. There we go. Yeah, I, I do not want you in here on these. Um, Crusaders, Paladins, Templars. Dope. Still got plenty of money. All right, let's go. Let's get this, baby. Archers, I want y'all to show here. Make sure you can come a little closer, baby. All right, so they've got like two sets of walls here. This is an interesting castle, I don't know. Is this new? Uh, was this created for the mod? Because I don't remember seeing this one. Hmm. Maybe we'll get up the wall and we'll recognize it. That's entirely possible as well. Oh, it's Kudan. I doubt. No, I think this is just normal one for Kudan. I just don't. I don't normally have campaigns where I go this fucking far north in Galradia, man. I don't like conquer like Swadia in the south and the Rodox and all that, but. Who the fuck wants to come up here where it's cold, man? I live in Michigan. I get enough cold IRL. I don't need an end game, too. Oh, that being said, man, Michigan summers. It is so fucking hot. Because it's like, you know, it, temperature wise, it gets it gets pretty high up there, you know? We've, we've had, you know, periods where we go almost a week in a row with temperatures above 90. 
But it's not just that it's 90 degrees. It's humid, man. We're surrounded by lakes on three out of the four sides. Um, it's so, so humid. And humid 90 is, is far worse than, like, dry heat 110, I'd say. Far worse than that. It's the humid. The air just sticks to you, man. It just sticks to you. I don't know. At least in my opinion. In my humble opinion. I think when I'm older, I might want to move down to uh, somewhere somewhere nice where it's like warmer all year round, but not like, you know, not crazy hot. I might go down to like Arizona where, you know, it gets pretty hot up there, but it, it never gets too cold and the heat is just dry. Heat, so it's, you know, it's not too crazy. You can stand it. All right. I like how there's a, there's a pretty big hole here, so we've got like four champions going to work right now. Kano Chiero, so it should be pretty good. Keep it moving. Alright, looks like we got one guy inside. Let's see if we can help out a little bit more. GG. Oh, there we go. We're in? Okay. Go in, lads. Alright, one or two other people need to come this side. There we go. Got a few champions. I'm amazed how few champions we've lost. I. I Maybe I overestimated the Vegas Archers, okay? You know, I was putting them, like, on the same tier with, like, the Rodok Crossbow, but I guess that was a mistake. The Rodok Crossbowmen are uh, a whole beast in their own right. That is one thing that we will definitely not be doing this series, is fighting the Rodok. We're done after the Vegas, man. After Mason Harrow gets his revenge. I have no desire for the slow and awful drudge that will be taking over the last half of the map that the Rodox control. <laughs> that would be awful. Right, let's go ahead and have our arch charged in. Actually, arch. Put you all right around there. That would be an aggressive spot for you. Should be able to flank enemies. Let me try it out. 360. No scope. Oh, I saw that delivered damage and I was like, we hit it. We hit it. Mom, get the get the camera. <laughs> I hit the shot. Oh, baby, a triple. Might try to do that again, actually. We got some stairs right there. Yeah, but, mm, yeah. yeah, you know, I'll fuck it. Might, might as well try. Might as well try. All right, I think this is going to be a little hard just because there's not many enemies in sight. They're all over, mark over there. Yeah, okay, this is probably not going to go well. All right, so let's go. Tell you what, we're actually going to try to do a switch here. Here we go. Boom. Switch. Oh, it didn't fire, man. Come on. All right, there might not actually be enough time to switch with it. The more I'm thinking about it. Because let me see. Jump switch. How long does it take to fire? Yeah, it's too long. Okay, we need to just go with a basic 360. Attempt number three. All right, come on. Let's do this. Right there. Turn. Oh, wait, I wasn't... What am I doing, man? What am I doing? I didn't even... Uh, I need to be... I need to start holding it down right away. Actually, could I just have it down like this? Jump off, 360, and then... Oh, yeah, we could just do that. What am I thinking? This could be way easier. We're gonna run out of enemies here. <laughs> We've lost one unit so far. What the hell, man? These champions are so OP. Oh my, this is why I don't want to fight the Rodox. Absolutely no way. What shot? God, you know what? Ugh. Basic 360. Oh, headshot. Boom. Got him. Montage that. Montage that right there. What? You want another one? Oh. Whew. Damn it. <laughs> Spam. Spam. No scopes. Oh, Jesus, we just headshotted one of our champions, I think. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We'll try that again. We'll try another day. Get out of here. Sit down. Oh, yeah, it's just a bunch of scrubs now. Oh, yeah, so, I mean, I think our, our feints worked, though, tactics-wise. I think that was a good plan to attack those two castles uh, first, getting them distracted and centered around their capital, Revenant. Um, I actually, actually don't know. Is Revenant like the actual capital of the uh, Vega Empire? You should probably know this. It might be. It's got like a one in four chance. <laughs> Shit, perhaps a little, uh, stranded here. And as bad as these guys are, they still do uh, a little bit of damage. Would not do to have us taken out by, uh, these scrubs. 
Here we go. Here we go. Go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Just erasing pools out here. Just erasing them. Look at that horde of champions right there. Is that not disgusting? That's terrifying, man. The kill feed got faded off, and it's not really from us, because we're we're not really able to do much right about now. Got stuck with all these guys. It's the champions. They're just hacking them to, sh to shreds. All right, spam the overhead. Boom. Wow. Wow. That's that's pretty good right there. That is pretty good right there. Alright, I'm sure that wasn't all of them. 645 is pretty damn close. Alright, fight him in the streets, baby. Let's finish this. Oh, we almost got back up to full health from healing. That's pretty insane, because we were pretty low at the end of that battle. Okay. I see you. And no scopes. Or not. Thank you. Thank you. Damn it, these spirit champions are <laughs> taking all these kills before I can even try, man. Oh, God. Talk about first world problems, am I right? When your units are so strong they kill enemies before you can. I just want a few of them, man. Just for my self esteem. Get wrecked. Get out of here. Too fast, man. Too fast. Alright, well, I think uh, that will be that. <laughs> Good shit, man. Whoops. I don't get there. Yeah, there's only one guy there. And I don't think he was too great. So, we still haven't had to face any crazy competition yet. But, I mean, <laughs> if we can conquer, like, half of the Vega Empire without having to face their competition, then uh, I think that's still a win. I think that's still a win. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it off there. Hopefully, you enjoyed. So, uh, this weekend, I I, I want to start it this weekend. I want to start a new series this weekend. I'm not sure if it's going to be War Sword Conquest or Prisno. Um, haven't really decided on that yet. But I will soon. <laughs> I will soon. Um, but let me know in the comments what you're excited to see. Do you like that idea I threw around earlier with uh, the different video ideas of, you know, comparing the best weapons the best units and all of mountain blade across all the mods because i think that could be pretty fun but anyways as always take it easy guys